you've been learning about value investing, finance, just regular investment for a while now, but you don't know where to go next. You're getting confused about the vast amount of information on the internet. You don't want to waste your time on crap information. You want good information um, and reliable information. In this series of videos on value investing and finance education, you will find those answers to those questions and much more. My name is Jason Rivera. Welcome to Value Investing and Finance Education. Hey, Jason here. Um, I just want to give a quick update on some major issues on the website. Uh, I've already posted about this in the Value Investing Journey Facebook group, um, Value Investing Journey Facebook Masterclass group for Masterclass Coaching Program students. I uh, also sent out an email to, to um, subscribers of the blog as well. So if you've been on the site any time in probably the last 10 days and you've had issues with pages not being found or pages not going where they should be going you're not alone uh, probably about three weeks ago one of my master class students mentioned that when you put the www dot in front of value investing journey it takes you to click funnels which is where our programs and a lot of our pages are hosted I thought that was weird. Um, and we actually figured out that it was siphoning Google ranking traffic, which is important for markers and all that. If you want to show up, the higher on Google rankings you show up, essentially, if you want to show up on page one or two, um, you want as much traffic and much kind of Google ranking, algorithm ranking going to your site. Um, so you don't want any of that siphoned off. And it was being siphoned off. And then we decided to make the change to put the www dot in front of the value investing journey dot com and we asked our hosting service is this going to cause any major issues uh, no go ahead it shouldn't and I was looking for throwback Thursday post I think it was Wednesday or Thursday morning Wednesday night or Thursday morning and I noticed that most of the links Actually, none of the internal links were working. Like, uh, that's not good. Uh, so I checked a bunch of different pages and posts and pretty much none of our internal links were working. What happened is because we put the www dot in front of valueinvestingjourney.com, it changed literally every single one of our internal links. None of them work. Or none, when I first found out about it on, again, Thursday, I think, of last, uh, last week um, so yesterday as of this recording Thursday last week by the time you see this literally all of our links all of our internal links meaning links that go to our pages our posts um, other posts on the blog our products and services our order pages for all of our products and services our information pages for all our products and services none of our internal links were working major problem <laughs> obviously um, not only for you because you can't see the content you want to see it affects our marketing because people can't get our um, uh, get their uh, free products or services they want to sign up for like the uh, buy free gifts valuation templates all this stuff to make you a better value investor can't get that can't get the free how you do value invest book uh, can't get any of our products and services if you want to can't even get information about it in many cases um, so it affects our marketing completely um, affects our Google rankings we are now as of last check not even on the first five pages pages of value investing blog uh, or best value investing blogs and we are pretty much on that in the top five I don't remember the last time we weren't in the top five to be honest with you um, usually we're two to four depending on the day on page two to four depending on the day um, <laughs> so it affects our marketing or if, let me go back it affects you being able to see what you want to see it affects our marketing affects our sales affects our Google rankings and these kind of all combine to affect each other so literally the way I explain it to my team is literally when I first found out of it nothing on the site was working 
you could, if you found the original post, you could click on the original post, but any link would take you to another post. And we do this in almost every post, so you can get uh, other valuable content. Was not working. Uh, so what we're having to do, and the blog has been around for six and a half, seven years at this point. That's a lot of posts. So I checked, we have, as of today, Friday, um, I think it's 27, 28. We have 567 posts all time. And in these posts, we have at least one link usually. And sometimes as we're going through them, up to five to 10 links. So what we're having to do is manually go back and literally go post by post, link by link, checking what doesn't work, um, which is most of them, most of our internal links. What does, uh, if it doesn't work, fixing the links. If we can't find the links, via uh, the page, we have to search for them on the blog um, search bar. Um, so it's just an incredibly, it's not necessarily hard, but it's an incredibly time consuming task. And again, we asked our blue hosts if there were gonna be any major problems, no, go ahead. And we've not had any major problems with blue hosts before. Um, but this, I mean, it's literally gonna you know, sap dozens, hundreds of hours of our team to work. Um, going through these links and fixing them manually going back again almost seven years 567 posts um, it's insane the amount of work this is going to take um, but we got to do it and we got to fix it and we got to get the site back up and running and marketing and so you can view all your pages you want to view and learn all you want to learn about value investing and so we can market to people so we can help other people um, so we can show up on Google ranking, so we can do all these things combined, and it's just oh, frankly horrible. I told my team it's it's not gonna be necessarily hard, but it's gonna suck. The amount of time, again, the amount of time we have to put into this, but again, we have to do it. Um, I wish Bluehost would have let us know this could have been a problem. Um, again, me and my tech person were talking about this the other day, and not only did they not warn us that this could be a problem after we kind of went through the thought process of do we want to do this um if they would have warned us we could have either decided no it's not worth the time to do this and just kind of sat with the sagging google rankings a little bit uh, uh partially uh click siphoning off some of our um traffic if we decided we still want to go ahead with it we could have planned ahead um Instead, we went literally, I think it was about a week to 10 days where none of the links on the site were working and I didn't know about it. Um, obviously, on, I have the back end of the site, I can see anything I wanna see. So the only way I found out about this was I was looking for a post to do, again, a Thursday, uh, Throwback Thursday post. Um, and I kind of found it by accident. If I wouldn't have done this, again, we, we could have gone weeks, months with nobody without knowing this I don't know but again something we got to deal with um, it sucks uh, but we got to do it so um, but if you've had any problems with the site over the last seven to ten days um, that's why <laughs> um, we're doing all this to not only increase our Google rankings so more people can find us and more people can get help from us uh, but we're also doing other things on the back end that are affecting things like improving security for you and improving speed on the website um, Because we're getting ready to redo the website again um, so Tech issues frustrate me to no end um, I'm pretty good with tech stuff, but tech issues like this frustrate me to no end because it literally leads to an enormous waste of time time we could better you be used making videos, doing webinars, um, servicing clients, uh, creating content, value investing, uh, valuable value investing content and resources. Um, but instead we have to go back and literally manually fix this site. So post by post, link by link, um, and we'll get it done. As of this recording, if you are looking to for information right now, everything to our knowledge, all major pages, um, should be working uh, all major information pages should be working all major order pages should be working um, again to our knowledge all posts should be have the correct links and be available and have the correct links in the post that actually work 
going back to from today to about the beginning of July. By the time you see this, um, I'm going to continue working over the, we're going to continue working on this over the weekend. I'm recording this on Friday. Uh, by the time you see this, it will be further than that. Uh, but as of this recording, that's where we're up to now. Um, we're up to about the beginning of June, I think, is what all we've checked so far. So um, I apologize for this. Um, again, nothing we, my, me and my tech person even thought about. And then especially since our host um, didn't warn us this, this, could, this could be an issue. Um, lesson learned. Don't mess with the damn links of the site <laughs> ever. Um, but we'll get it done. Um, and again, I saw, um, sorry about this. I apologize for this and we'll get it done and get back to, um, well, we're going to continue releasing new content as this goes on. Um, hopefully it won't lead to any missed content on the blog, um, weekly or daily post. Um, but again, it's enormous time suck and you never know what's going to happen. So, but, uh, we're planning on doing after we get this fixed, more live webinars, uh, more live trainings for free, uh, more live webinars with masterclass coaching program students, more live trainings for free. Uh, we'll release more information about this soon, but this has pushed all this back, uh, probably at least a week or two at the minimum. Uh, these kind of things, well, my masterclass students and uh, coaching program students, they will still get their information, but the free webinars, those have been pushed back a little bit um, because of this. Um, and also we're gonna redo the site again. Uh, again, working on security, working on making it faster for you, uh, working on making it more functional for you, all these kind of things we're working to improve. So um, you'll notice some changes from time to time on the blog. If you see anything wrong, please let me know. Um, if you do and there's something wrong and it's something major and we fix it, you get free training sessions, free books, whatever. Um, I wanna incentivize people to help us because again, I can see, me and my team can see everything on the back end if we need to see it. Um, so we don't always necessarily see these kind of things on the front end uh, like you might. So if you see any major issues, let us know and we'll work to fix them, we'll work to improve the site constantly and work to make it better and more easier and faster, more secure for you. Um, and your, val your own value investing journey and value investing education. So um, having said that, again, thank you for your patience. Uh, so we apologize for this, or I apologize for this, and we'll get it done, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.